Hey y'all, happy uh, late Saturday night. My God, it's 10.30 here. So I was, uh, I was on a live stream the other night with Mr. Homeowner and Uncle Steve, and we were talking about something. I said, I don't know, but I'll try it and I'll film it, and then we'll all know. So. I got some Uncle Steve's uh, sweet and spicier here. I've got about an eight or eight and a half pound pork butt here. I've got it washed and dried off. And so now I'm just going to season it up. Oh, guess I better oh. open it up. And uh, what we're going to do is season this pig up. I'm going to stick it in the ice box. Let it sit till about 2 o'clock tomorrow or so. Then I'm going to take it out, wrap it up, and put it in the freezer. Then in a month from now, we'll take it out of the freezer and we'll cook it. And see if uh, by seasoning up now and letting it sit, before I freeze it, if it does anything different to the meat. So, uh, and uh, you notice I didn't put any binder on this tonight. Uh, I, I didn't want to, I, I, my uh, binder of choice is what's this here sauce. And I didn't want to use what's this here sauce and then let it sit overnight and then freeze it. Uh, I didn't want the added flavor from the what's this here sauce uh, messing with it <clears throat> while it was in the ice box tonight so that's why I didn't do that and uh, you can see I got uh, I've got a, got this thing sitting on a rack and uh, that way uh, any moisture that comes out of it will go on that pan so we're just going to season this up on all sides. I didn't trim this at all. I normally don't trim my pork butts anyway, so uh, we just season her up. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you haven't tried Uncle Steve's shake yet, you need to go see Uncle Steve. Stuff's good. I did a pork butt tonight in the oven <coughs> with his uh, competition pig powder and uh, it turned out amazing. So, it's got good stuff though, man. And I just want to make sure I got a, a good coating all the way around on this thing. And you're not wrapping that up? Not tonight, no. I just want to sit in the ice box and chill out. And then I'll come back on the fat side and do it again. So this is pretty much all you're going to see of this cook until we cook it. Like I say, I'm just going to take it out of the icebox tomorrow, wrap it up in some freezer wrap, and put it in the freezer and let it sit for a month. Take it out, let it thaw out for a couple of days, then we'll cook it up. See if I need to season it some more. I'm thinking as it sits overnight, it's going to lose some moisture. And so, uh, uh, I think I'll probably have to season it up again in the morning before or tomorrow before I wrap it up. But we're going to go with that right now. I'm going to go wash my hands. And uh, we're just going in the icebox with this. So, uh, you'll see the rest of this video in just about a month. So, y'all have a good one. And uh, 
Go see Uncle Steve. UncleSteveShake.com Morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. Irish cream and coffee. Okay, so on the 10th of January, I seasoned this pig up with some of Uncle Steve's sweet and spicy and put it in the freezer. <clears throat> I was going to let it sit till the 10th of February, but life interrupted us. So now here it is, almost St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to cut this out of this here and uh, put it on the pit barrel cooker and see what happens. I got some hickory chunks in there and uh, some apple chips. And, uh, I took this out of the freezer a couple of days ago so it's all out. So we should be good to go. It's thawed out. As you can see. If I can't make a little mess here. <coughs> you had me wrap it up like the yeah. whole tomorrow. So, that's what we look at right there. So, I don't think I'm going to re season it. <coughs> You smell that seasoning. Do what? You can smell the seasoning. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take this out there, put it on the pit barrel, fat cap up, and then we let it go for a couple hours. It's uh, 7 after 9 now, so we'll let it go at about 10 after 11 or so, and we'll come back and I have Terry go out there and take a picture of it or say something. Uh, when we open up the grill and look at it. So, we'll be back in a few. Okay, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to look at this, see what it looks like. There you go. Looking good. Yeah, smells good. Yeah, it so, does. Put the lid back on there. Let that go for a couple more hours and we'll be back. Alright, this has been going a little over four and a half hours. Uh, get smoke out of the way. That looks good over there. I just want to <laughs> give a check of the temperature here. That does look good. Yeah, that bark still ain't set up, but oh, it's got a long way to go. <laughs> We're at 158 right there. And so... Yeah. 158? Yep. Got a long way to go yet. Well, you got to cook it to. Oh, about 210. Yeah. So, anyways, that's what it's looking like. Looking good. Yeah, it smells so, good too. We'll be back uh, in a day or two when this is done. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll be back. Okay, it's been on about nine and a half hours. I'm out of daylight and everybody's screaming at me they're hungry. That's what it looks like. I know it's probably not pulled apart yet, but we can slice it. It sure does smell good though, I'll tell you. Uh, that's coming off the bone there. So anyways, that's what we're looking at. It sure smells good. Oh, look at that, that bone's almost coming off of there. It does smell good. So. Let's just sit here for a couple of minutes, let it cool off enough to taste, and let me see if I can get this bone out of here, and we'll be right back. Okay, I know that's still too hot to eat, but uh, you can see uh, my bone come out clean, so at least it's got that going for it. And it's got a nice little smoke ring to it, you can see that right there. We'll see how it tastes, because that's all... 
That's all this experiment was about is the taste. Get off of there. Mm. You tell me. Mm. That's good. Huh? It's good. Yeah, I think so. I think it's yeah, more flavor. No. It you taste the, the seasoning more. All the way through. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's what I think. I think you get more flavor from the seasoning from sitting in a freezer like that. So yeah, if I do a pork butt again, <clears throat> I'll wash it off, dry it off, season it, and throw it in the freezer and let it set for a month or two. Then let it thaw out and cook it. Because I like this. Mm -hmm. I like the way it turned out. I like the way the color of it. It seems to me like the seasoning went more into the meat, not just on the outside. So yeah, Uncle Steve, I think this is a win-win here. You need to try this sometimes, man, and uh, see what you think. But yeah, you know, e either way, you can't go wrong with Uncle Steve's shake. So no, <laughs> this was the sweet and spice here. So, we're going to go make this a sandwich. Y'all have a good one. Uncle Steve, thanks for the idea, man. See you later.